Earlier this month, Salesforce announcing it was laying off 10% of its workforce, much like Google. Salesforce is just one of the nation's biggest tech companies who have announced layoffs. And as Angela just said, Google's parent company, Alphabet, is cutting about 12,000 jobs. You got Meta, you got the Facebook, Amazon, so many. So if you get a pink slip, how do you navigate the layoff? Joining me live from Bloomington is Jessica Nevitt, a lecturer for the IU Kelly School of Business who specializes in career planning and workplace well-being. Uh, highlights of her career, just amazing stuff you really need right now. Jessica, good morning to you. Uh, good morning. Thank you for having me. Not a problem. Now, unfortunately, this month really couldn't be more of a perfect storm for more layoffs. Why is that? Is there a specific reason? Well, actually, there are three reasons. The biggest reason is, of course, the pandemic is ending, work from home is ending. So a lot of these tech companies, they hired a lot of people during the pandemic, and now they find they don't need them. So that that's the first big reason. The second reason is the war in Ukraine. We know that that conflict has kept going on. So that is is sending repercussions into the global economy. And then third, there, there are fears, real fears of a recession coming up this year. So a lot of companies are looking around, seeing what other companies are doing to insulate themselves financially. And they're taking action, unfortunately, with layoffs. Yeah. And it's not just the physical aspect of not having a job, but one of the first step is navigating through the emotional part of it. Uh, you say you should mourn the loss in essence. And definitely. This is a loss not just of income. This is a loss of friends. This is a loss of an identity that we've had maybe for, for a while. So uh, we need to take some time to, to mourn that loss because it's a big one. So what about your rights? I mean, do you just have to let it happen to you? Anything that you can do? Well, it, as far as your rights, when it comes to, you know, there's there's different things you could do, talk, you know, talk to your employer. Um, but now you need to start planning. You need to start thinking about severance. You have to think about uh, what you want to do next and also financial aspects, getting those in place uh, to make sure that legally, you know, everything is in place for you to, to move forward into the next phase of your life. Yeah, and in a lot of situations, this could actually, if you're looking at the glass half full, you know, aspect, could be an ideal time for people to figure out what they really want to do for a career, if not already in it. Oh, definitely. This is a, a door is opening here. Uh, even though it, it is a loss, the, the the silver lining is this might be a good time to start thinking about career change, maybe uh, doing something educationally or skill wise that you've been putting off. So lots of different things that people can do uh, to, to expand and, and improve their life, even though this is a is a big loss for them. Yeah, and the final question, Jessica, you're saying that there is hope for Hoosiers who are getting laid off. Why do you say that? Well, the job market is still strong. So there's still hope uh, that that the job loss period won't won't extend into into many years or many days so there there is hope so you know taking that action making sure that you tailor your resume to each job that you apply for you know do your best in the job search and and things will will look up yeah i've heard before many a times don't just let things happen to you but take action great advice and great tips jessica nevitt thanks for being here this morning we appreciate it thank you all right let's find out more 